to get outside and enjoy this Wednesday yeah. warm weather on tap, right? Good park weather today or yep. good tennis weather for good you. Good tennis weather, yeah, yes. Yeah, that's right. Stay hydrated, though. It's going to be a warm one later on this afternoon. Here's a live look at the skies. Look at that gorgeous sunrise in Birmingham. 64 is the current temperature. A mild morning across the Magic City. And temperatures across the board, pretty comfy. 58 in Cleveland, 57 in Moody, and 55 in Gadsden. There's some patchy fog in places, but now that that sun is up, that fog should slowly erode away. A mix of sun and clouds this morning around 70 at 9 a.m. Low to mid and upper 70s as we near our lunch hour, close to 80 degrees at high noon. Temperatures will land in the mid 80s later this afternoon. But the next big story is the rain on tap, although today will be a quiet and warm and really a dry day. I'm tracking rain moving in from the west and not really just rain, but active weather at that. We are looking at a line of showers and storms moving through east Texas right now, coupled with this cold front as this low pressure system moves off to the north and to the east. This cold front is going to really dig into the deep south. That will enhance our opportunity for strong storms over the next 24 hours. But I really want to communicate some of the uncertainty with this forecast. Here's why. There could be the introduction of some Gulf moisture. And you'll notice this white line I've drawn on here. Here's what I'm looking at. By tomorrow, this is going to be early tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. Still quiet for us in central Alabama, but rain moves out of the Gulf. What happens is if this rain moves into South Alabama earlier in the morning and through the early part of the afternoon, it will really kind of zap the atmosphere of a lot of energy. So, where that cold front's back to our west, it will really prevent a lot of development. If that rain continues through the afternoon and the evening and on into the early part of Friday, that cold front really becomes pretty lackluster as it moves across Alabama. That to be said, if we don't see as much of this moisture as the future cast is determining right now, that could change in the next few hours. We'll, we'll continue watching the model forecast here. But if we don't see as much Gulf moisture, that would actually mean that this cold front will pack a bit more of a punch. So we're still going to keep a watchful eye on the skies, but you'll notice by Friday afternoon and into the evening, all that rain is gone completely. So for today, no severe weather is expected. All of the severe weather today will be well to our west. But notice tomorrow, it looks like there's an enhanced risk for severe weather in northwest Alabama. That's where we could see some rotation, but the areas highlighted in yellow, that's a slight risk. That means it's going to be more of a wind and possibly hail event, much like we saw Monday night into Tuesday of this week. So very similar parameters exist with this. So the tornadic threat is low at this point and otherwise just some pockets of very heavy rainfall. Weather aware is still in place. But again, there's a lot of ingredients we'll be watching as this system develops and unfolds. And then it looks like things will dry out nicely and warm up back into the low 80s as we move into the weekend. And that is a look at your storm track seven day forecast. Now, our coffee club winner for today is Margaret Gilly of Aniston. So if you're Margaret Gillian, uh, wondering if you won the coffee club, you did. If you'd like to also try to be a coffee club member, you can sign up today at WIT.com. Just keep watching. We may announce your name soon. Now, 